Okay, here is ANVS, Anavis Bio. This finishes at $4.50 today. That is down 60.25%. Please, like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday aftermarket close on the Smarter Gambling Show. So here's Robin Hood. This is the first day of trading, just IPO'd. So it opened at $38. It finishes at $34.82. That is down 8.37%. <laughs> so terrible start. Terrible start for Robin Hood. Honestly, I kind of expected it. Uh, it's not a very well-liked company. And whenever they're in the news, it's never good news. It's always something bad. I can't remember the last time I've seen some good PR on Robinhood. So there's nothing really to analyze here because this is the first day of trading, but I'm gonna cover it because this was the number one trending uh, most active on stock twits today. So a lot of buzz about this stock. This was valued at $32 billion. And I believe about 25 to 30% of the holders of the stock currently are Robinhood users. I remember they reserved a lot of stock and they try to push it on their users. A little bit shady. But not surprising. This is Robin Hood we're talking about. It actually went to $40.25 was the high today. And the low is $33.35. 100 million volume. A lot of trading. A lot of volatility on this first day of trading. Yeah, Robin Hood is not a well-liked company. First of all, their brokerage is pretty bad in terms of what you can do with it. And I know it's convenient and it's catering towards newbies, really. Uh, you know, people who are just starting off in investing. And it makes it real easy. It's a very clean platform, very user-friendly. But, you know, as you get more experienced, you start to realize it's a pretty crap brokerage. They're missing a lot of features. Can't chart. No pre-market and post-market. They got in trouble for their gamification. They sell your information to the hedge funds. Remember back in uh, January, the whole GME thing when it first happened? They disabled the buy button. Remember that? That was the first time in history that ever happened. They have a, a really shady past. They're not well liked by the public or institutions. Always getting sued. No good news ever coming out of Robin Hood. It's always bad PR. They're a mess. They, they are a mess. However, even with all this, this drama going on, they still continue to grow every single day. They get bigger and bigger. So despite what we think and our opinions, long term, they're going to be pretty successful. So as of right now, can't really say how low this is going to go. It's probably going to pull back a little bit more. But, you know, just in general, when something IPOs, it usually tanks for a little bit. And then it starts to recover. You know, the market finds its true value. So I do expect this to come back down uh, more in the short term. And eventually it'll go back up. You know, if you want to go long on this right now, I think yes, in the long term, this is going to go up. But as of this moment, I suggest staying away from this for probably a couple of months, honestly. Until we get some real data, you know, we can actually chart this. And the market actually decides the true value of this stock. Because I think if you buy in now, you're going to lose a bit of money you can probably get a way better price. And if you want to go short, seems like a pretty decent play. I can't say how much money you're going to make, but this is probably going to keep coming down in the short term, probably for a couple of weeks or a couple of months. I don't think you're going to make any like serious money or anything, but I, I do think this is going to keep bleeding for, for a while. So if you want to go short, I could support that, but only do it for the short term. But yeah, you know, this was a really anticipated IPO. Been talking about it for months. It's been on the news. So here we have it. First day, down almost 10%. Not a great start. So we'll see what happens. This is going to be really interesting. Sorry to everyone who lost money on this one today. And good luck to everyone currently holding this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. So this is H-O-O-D Robinhood. Okay, here's N-A-O-V, Nano Vibronics. This finishes at $2.41 today. That is up 26.18%. So we got some news on this one today. So let's take a look at that first. The Therapeutic Goods Administration, TGA, the Australian regulatory body for therapeutic devices has granted approval for its Euroshield to be used by patients in Australia. So yeah, Euroshield is one of its products and they just got the green light approval in Australia. So yeah, good news. Good PR for this stock today. Uh, honestly, I thought it was going to free fall. I thought it was going to tank. It looked like a dead cat bounce to me. That's what I said yesterday. And honestly speaking, I think that if this PR didn't come out, it would have went down today. 
But yeah, good news, and the market responded to it. So let's analyze this. So right now, this is trading between the sideways channel, the rectangle of 245 and 235. So if this goes to the upside, next level of resistance would be 245, 260, 270, 290, $3, $310, 325, 335, 345, 355, 370, and then we got some more support above 370, but we're not going to discuss that right now. We'd have to go back a couple years. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 235, 220, 210, 190, 180, and then 160. And there's a bunch of support below 160, but uh, we're also not going to talk about that right now. But just know that if slash when this goes back to 160, it's going to catch some pretty strong support. And then it's going to require a good amount of selling pressure for this to go lower than 160. But at this current price of 240, the channels to the upside and the downside are pretty decently sized. Not like crazy wide or not too narrow, but pretty decently sized. So expect a decent amount of price action to the upside and the downside right now at this current price. But if this goes back to 160, I expect the price action to slow down significantly. But if it goes to the upside, there's still going to be... A good amount of price action. So the RSI is currently at 69. Lol. Nice. So not quite an overvalued overbought territory just yet. But quickly approaching that. Very close to that. So just be cautious guys. And it did 219 million in volume today. Which is very significant volume. This pump today was confirmed by the volume. Yeah at one point this hit $3. Crazy. So pretty big pullback. But still up very big for the day. So this is just my personal opinion, not financial advice. I know a lot of you guys are going to disagree, but if you want to go long, I don't advise doing that. It's very risky at this point. Not saying it won't go to the upside, but do it at your own risk. This may have a little bit more room to run, but I certainly don't think it's going to moon past 375. You know, as I said, things were looking very bearish for this stock. Chart was looking very bearish. And I think the only reason why it pumped up today was because of the PR, the good PR. But th this has all the signs of a pump and dump or a squeeze and dump, I guess you can call it. A lot of bearish indicators, high RSI, high volume. It, it looked like it was in free fall and it caught a dead cat bounce. And today uh, it got some good PR. I, I would not advise going long here. I think that's pretty risky stuff. I think it's a lot more likely to go to the downside. However, if this does continue to go to the upside... You're going to make some pretty good tendies. So high risk, high reward play there. And if you want to go short, also very risky. But this does seem like it's a lot more likely to go to the downside than the upside. Got bearish indicators here. Really no bullish indicators. So this does appear like it's going to pull back. In the short term at least. And you can make a pretty good amount of money here. If this goes back to 160. So going short here looks like a pretty good play. And I would support that. But it's also pretty risky. Just be aware. Uh, if this does go to the upside, you can get in a lot of trouble because there will be a decent amount of price action. Congratulations to everyone who made money in this one today. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is NAOV Nano Vibronics. All right, here's AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. This finishes at $102.95 today. That is up 5.13%. So there was news on this one today, so let's take a look at that. All right, so first of all, we got another price upgrade. Argus adjusts to $120. Zilinx reported stronger than expected quarterly results, including profit more than doubling from the year earlier despite industry-wide supply chain challenges. Chipmaker AMD is buying Zilinx in a deal that is expected to close by year's end. Good earnings for Zilinx, which AMD is acquiring, so... That in turn caused the AMD stock to go up today. And this is crazy because this thing has been on an absolute run of late and it just keeps on going. And this is not a pump and dump. This is not a meme stock. This is a legitimate blue chip stock. So very impressive. Okay, let's analyze this. They set a new all-time high today, $105.74. Wow. So right now this is sitting on the support of $103, which it finished at today. So if this goes to the upside... Next level of resistance would be the all-time high, $105.74. And if it breaks that, then it's onto the upside, onto uncharted territory, and the market will decide for itself what this stock is worth. It could moon, who knows. 
And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 99, 97, 60, 96, 77.60, and then the low of 72.50. These channels are pretty decently sized, which is surprising for a blue chip legitimate company. But yeah, right now at this current price, at 103 bucks, the upside and the downside, they're pretty wide channels. So I would expect a good amount of price action to the upside and the downside. Until this hits 91.50, then the channel starts to narrow a little bit, and we probably won't see as much price action, but still a decent amount of price action. RSI is currently at 77, so that is an overbought, overvalued territory. So be very cautious, guys. This did 164 million in volume today, and that is the biggest volume day of the year. Huge volume day. So today, this pump was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, I think that's very risky, and personally, I would not recommend that. I would not do that. I know the stock is very exciting, but you'd literally be buying in the all-time high here, and that's never a good idea. Uh, this has to give back, you know? This has to come back down eventually. It may keep running for a little bit, but this can't sustain itself. This is getting pretty absurd, honestly, guys. Even if it does go up in the short term, it, I don't think it's worth it. And long term, definitely. Like, this, this stock is going to keep going up. But... If you wait a little bit, I'm sure you can get this for a much better price than over $100. You know, just be a little patient. So I support going long, just not at this current moment. I think you should wait a little bit. Who knows how long that's going to take, maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of months. But you should be able to get this at a way better price if you just hold off. Now, if you want to go short, it seems like a decent play, but I probably wouldn't go for that either. Because you're not shorting some crap meme stock, you know? This is a legitimate blue chip company. Very well liked by the apes and the institutions. You should be able to make a decent amount of money if you short this. You know, uh, I do think it's going to pull back in the short term. However, I, I just think it's not really worth it to short such a, a good company like this, you know? There's way better things to short. This could keep running in the short term as well. So if you want to short, just do it at your own risk. Uh, I could support it, but definitely don't hold it for that long. So congratulations to everyone who made money in this stock today. And good luck to everyone currently holding a position and to everyone looking to take a position. This is AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. Okay, here's NTEC, Intech Parent Inc. This finishes at $13.55 today. That is up 48.09%. So let's analyze this. So there was no news, no justification for this pump today. So probably just a lot of ape stuff going on here. So we have multiple gaps here. We have a gap up at 280. So that, that's a bearish indicator. That's telling us that this might come back down to 280 at some point. Honestly, I, I don't think it's going to go down to 280. It seems pretty unlikely at this point. You never know. And then we have another gap up today at around 950. Again, bearish indicator. This means that this is likely to come back down to 950 at some point. That one is a lot more likely than this going back down to 280. It double gap, so I highly doubt this is going back to 280, but it's probably coming back down to 950 eventually. Can't say when, but probably eventually. You know, the gaps usually do fill. Not all the time, but usually. Right now, this is sitting on the support of 1360. So if this goes to the upside, the next level of resistance would be the high of 1780, which it's at today. And if it breaks 1780, then this is onto the upside. Not uncharted territory. There is more resistance after this. But it's going to moon if this breaks 1780. Just know that. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 1050, $10, 960, 920, 890, 840, $8, 740, $7, 665, 630, 610. 580 and 540 and there is more support below 540 but I'm not going to discuss that right now right now at this current price of 1355 to the upside and the downside very wide channel so there's going to be extreme price action whichever way this goes if slash when this hits 1050 then it's going to catch a lot of support 
and then there won't be nearly as much price action. RSI is currently at 88, so that is pretty overbought and overvalued, so be really careful, guys. This is getting risky. And this did 34 million in volume today, which is by far the biggest volume day of the year. Huge volume day. So this pump today was confirmed by the volume. So if you want to go long, I really don't recommend that. We're getting a lot of bearish indicators here. High RSI, high volume, gap up, wide channels. The chart here, the graph is screaming at us pretty much to either sell or short. Uh, we're really getting no bullish indicators here. So I personally think that going long would be very, very risky. And I don't recommend that. This would be FOMO at this point if you want to go long. That being said, if for whatever reason this does continue to run, as I said before, there are very wide channels to the upside. So if this does continue to run, you're going to make some fat tendies. I just don't think it's very likely at all. If you want to go long, just do it at your own risk. It'd be a gamble at this point, and I don't recommend that. Now, if you want to go short, seems like a pretty good play. I do think that this is going to come back to 950 to fill the gap. That is a decent amount of money to be made. It might even go lower than that, but I definitely think it's going back down to 950 in the short term. So as I said, a lot of bearish indicators here, high RSI, high volume, gap up. So uh, again, the chart is screaming at us to either sell or short. So I think going short is a really good play and I would support that. However, if this does go to the upside, this is going to moon. Not very likely, but possible. If this goes wrong, you can lose a lot of money. So just be aware of that. Do it at your own risk. So congratulations to everyone who made money in this one today. Not financial advice, but consider taking profits. I think that's the smart thing to do. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is NTEC, Intech Parent. Okay, here is ANVS, Anavis Bio. This finishes at $4.50 today. That is down 60.25%. There was news as to why this dumped so much today. So let's take a look at that. At the Alzheimer's Association International Conference, Anavis presented new clinical efficiency and biomarker data for its drug ANVS-401. The presentation included details about the 28 patients treated with ANVS-401 in ongoing phase 2A trials and discussed how the drug reverses the toxic cascade, starting with lowering levels of neurotoxic proteins and improves cognitive motor functions. Not quite sure what happened at the conference, but reading stuff online, the consensus is that it was a terrible presentation and the market is reacting to it. So actually I see two gaps here. We had one way back here in May, gap up from like $29. And that never filled. So that means that this is likely to come back down to 29 at some point to fill this gap. And we have another gap down today at 105 so that means that this is likely to come back up to 105 at some point and honestly it's probably going to be a while but that is a bullish indicator there this probably is coming back to 105 eventually so let's analyze this so right now this is sitting on the support of 44 dollars which it finished at today so if this goes to the upside next level of resistance would be 48 42 54 60 60 60 65 70 68, 50, 74, 78, 30, 81, 80, 85, 30, 87, 90, 90, 90, 93, 40, 96, 98, 20, $100.50, 102, 80, 105, 50, 109, 111, 80, 114, 60, 118, 90, 125, and then the high of 132. And if this goes to the downside, next level of support would be 3820, 3490, 3315, 2990, 2760, 2480, 2080, 1650, and then 1045. And there's a bunch of support below that, but uh, we're not going to discuss that right now. So right now at this current price, 4350. So the upside and the downside, the channels are pretty decently sized. So either way this goes, expect a good amount of price action until if slash when this hits 1020. Once it hits 1020, there's going to be a lot of support. Then I expect the price action to slow down significantly. And at the same time to the upside, the channels start to get more narrow once this hits around like 85-ish. 
there's a good amount of resistance once this hits 85 and I expect the price action to slow down to the upside once this hits 85. After like 100, they start to get more wide again. So seems like from 85 to 100 approximately, there is a decent amount of resistance. But yeah, at this current price, 4350, there's going to be a decent amount of price action either way. So right now the RSI is at 29. So that is undervalued and oversold. And it did 7.1 million in volume today. Very significant volume. So the sell-off today was confirmed by the volume. Honestly speaking, right now, I would not go long or short. Not saying that you guys should do that. Really hard to tell where this is going right now. Either way you go, this is a gamble. Very risky stuff here. On one hand, we got the gap up at $29. That never failed. So this very well could keep tanking to $29. So if it does go back to like $30, bucks, then I would say, sure, go long. That's an excellent price. This looks, <laughs> this looks very bearish right now. It looks like it's going to be in free fall for a little bit. And you don't want to catch a falling knife right now. So if you want to go long, I wouldn't do it right now. I would hold off. See if you can get this at 30. But at the same time, this could bounce. You never know. This tank's so hard today. A big bounce would not be unreasonable. Going short, it could pay off if this does go back to $30. But it's just so hard to tell where this is going right now. Either it's going to go back to 30 and you're going to get paid. Or it's going to bounce hard and you're going to get screwed. So if you want to short, do it at your own risk. Not saying that going short is a bad play. It's just very unpredictable and very risky at this point. So I would just stay away altogether. I would not even attempt to short this. Sorry to everyone who lost money on this one today. Very disgusting. But just hang in there. And good luck to everyone currently in this stock and to everyone looking to take a position. This is ANVS Anavis Bio. Thanks everyone for watching today. I appreciate you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe and catch me every weekday after market close on the Smarter Gambling Show. You apes already know, diamond hands to the moon. I'm Ty. This is Smarter Gambling. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.